Welcome to this video on the convex lens. In this video we will discuss how real and virtual images are formed using a convex lens and how a magnifying glass works. So consider this pencil as an object. As you may recall from previous videos, we can work out where the image of this pencil will form by drawing these rays which are bent by the lens and which meet or converge and where the rays, where the light rays meet is where the image of the pencil will form. So notice that the the image of the pencil is smaller than the real size of the pencil and notice that the pencil here, the image of the pencil, is pointing down whereas the actual pencil, the object, is pointing up. Okay? We call such an image a real image. We call it a real image because the rays that travel from the object these rays they actually meet at a point and this means that if we wanted to we could form the image on a screen like this screen here Okay, so that's why we call the image a real image. Now let's see what happens as I move the object further to the left. What do you notice? If I keep moving the pencil further to the left, you should notice that the image moves closer to the principal focus and also it gets even smaller. Okay? And if the object was infinitely far away from the lens the image would actually form as a point at the principal focus so if this object was was infinitely far away the rays of light would actually travel towards the lens parallel to each other. And you might remember from a previous video that when the incoming rays are parallel, they converge or meet at the principal focus. Now let's see what happens if I move the pencil, the object, closer towards the, the lens. What do you notice now? What you should notice is that the image 
the size of the image is the same as the size of the object. And this is what happens when the object is a special distance from the lens. Okay, So the object right now is a distance of twice the focal length away from the lens. And when the object is there, the image will form at a distance of twice the focal length from the lens as well. Okay? Let's see what happens if I move the object to the right, uh, further to the right. You will have noticed that the image now is bigger than the object. And this continues as I move the object closer and closer to the secondary focus. And if I keep moving it, you will no longer see the the image because it's forming so far away from the lens. And if I move this object just and position it here, just at the secondary focus, you can probably see that the rays are now parallel. The rays on this side of the on the right side of the lens are now parallel. And what that means is that the image would now form would now be formed infinitely far away from the lens. What do you think would happen if I moved the pencil further to the right? So past this point here. Let's find out. Notice that the image is now on the left side of the lens and not on the right as we saw before. Notice that the image, the size of the image, is bigger than the size of the object. Do you notice any differences, any other differences between this image and the previous images? One difference is that the image of this pencil is now pointing up. Okay, so the tip here is 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 pointing up just like tip in the object in the real pencil. Okay, so remember in the previous images of the pencil, the pencil was pointing down. One other difference is that this image is no longer real. We call this image a virtual image. Let me try to explain. These 
green lines that meet at this point here these green lines are not the path that light rays have taken okay so light is not traveling along these uh, along these paths now if somebody was on this side of the lens and looked towards the lens they would see these rays and to that person these rays would look as though they came from here so when a person is on this side here it would appear to them that the tip of the pencil is here so the person thinks that the pencil is over here when in fact it is over here and this is what we mean by a virtual image okay unlike the real images you saw previously we cannot form this image on a screen because the light rays do not actually come from here or meet here we only think that they seem to come from here and the interesting thing is that this is what explains how a magnifying glass works notice here this person is holding this magnifying glass and you see they are holding it over a book and if you look at the the words the letters in the book they seem bigger through the magnifying glass so they are they are magnified compared to the letters that um, that we're seeing we're not seeing through the magnifying glass and that's exactly what's going on here okay so this this describes how a magnifying glass works a magnifying glass is just a convex lens which lets us see an object much more clearly and much bigger than it really actually is thank you for listening